Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly show you how to map two position switches on your Warthog or any device really in DCS so they are truly two position switches. So uh, we're going to use a program called Joy to Key and I'll show you why we need to do this. So if we go into options and controls and we select our awesome AV8 PNA and we're going to map our aerial refueling probe switch in and out. So when we flip this switch to the up position, our probe comes out. And when we flip it down to the down position, the probe will go back in. And uh, I'll show you why we need to do this. So here in the throttle column here, we'll double click on this. And as you see, when I flip the switch to the up position, it shows joystick button 24. Clear that out. When I flip it to the down position, Nothing happens because DCS does not recognize the down position on these switches. And there's a lot of programs out there like that. So we could leave this and just map the down position using Joy to Key. But for the purposes of showing you how to do this, we're going to do both. So we'll click OK to that. First, we need to define a key command for each position we want to map. So probe switch in. We're going to map to the comma key and probe switch out, we will map to the period key. Okay, once that's done, we'll save this like we normally do in DCS, and we're gonna open up Joy to Key. I run it as administrator, and first thing you need to do when you get this program is you need to define your joystick. So I've already done that, and then you see I have multiple aircraft profiles in here, but we'll go to settings, configure joysticks, advanced, and you'll see that you need to define each joystick. So if you drop this list down, you'll see you have all the different devices here that are on your computer. Um, I have my T50 mapped as joystick one. You would set them up however you want to. My Thrustmaster uh, throttle is set as joystick two. We're not going to do that because it screws everything up because I've already done it. But you need to do all that first. Then we'll click on our AV8 profile. Uh, you see my different devices are up here. Joystick 2 is the column that we want. And the button we're going to use is button 24, which is the bottom left switch here. So you see when I flip it up, we get green. When I flip it down, we get white. So we'll double click on that. And we want keyboard 2 tab up here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this. And it's a great program once you start playing with it and learn how to do everything. But for our purposes here, we want this second one from the bottom, which is input one when the button is released and input two when it's pressed. So input one when it's released, we had mapped as the comma key. So we'll put that in the first column and input one. And input two when it's pressed, we have mapped to the period key. So we'll just do that. That's all we got to do. And we'll name this AAR probe in slash out so we know what it's doing here click OK and as you can see now when we press that switch it's activating If we go back to DCS here go back to our controls and DCS uh, in your control menu it'll snap to when you flip a switch so watch what happens now when we flip the switch up we get the period key which is probe out when we flip it down we get the comma key, which is switch in. See that? So now we have made this into a true two position switch. Uh, it's a great joy to key. It's a great program. And there's a link in the description here. If you want to go download it, it's freeware. Uh, I have not registered mine yet, but I will. It's a great program. It's well worth sending them a couple bucks. Uh, and if you're looking for an active AV8 US based squadron in DCS, check out www.vvma-231.com. Great group of guys. We're very active and we do a lot of stuff and we're part of a larger group called CSG1 with which we work across uh, multiple aircraft platforms. So thanks for watching today, guys. I uh, hope this helps you out and uh, have fun in DCS.